Good morning listeners and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. The benchmark indices recovered sharply from the day's lowest levels on Monday. The Nifty aims nearly 120 points higher while the Sensex was up 350 points. Among sectors, metal stocks outperformed and as a result, uh, metal index rallied over 4%, whereas Bank Nifty and auto indices remained under pressure. On Monday, uh, the market opened up with a gap uh, but uh, later on we saw a quick drop to the levels of uh, nearly 16350 360 and uh, the index took support uh, near the levels uh, where uh, the market uh, was having retracement support of uh, uh, almost 61.8% so from there we saw recovery in the market technically nifty and sensex has formed a long bullish candle which is broadly positive for the market currently the market is uh, between uh, the uh, levels of 16500 and 16800 um, in the last hour of trading on monday uh, uh, the market has managed to clear the resistance of 16800 but uh, today it would be interesting to see that whether the market again comes back to the levels of 16800 or not above that the possibilities of hitting 16900 or 950 would turn bright on the other side again 16500 550 would act as major support and below 16500 we can again uh, 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 see some uh, gradual weakness towards 16350 which was its previous lowest level um, if we go through with the global markets then they are down on the back of again uh, rising tension between ukraine and russia also uh, if we uh, go through with the global major factors then there also we saw a huge amount of uh, uh, changes i mean to say uh, the dollar uh, index it is it is around 97.50 uh, crude which was around 102 103 is now trading at 109 and 10 year bond yield is now uh, around 1.75 from the levels of almost 2 so here it's a interesting pattern only uh, the 10 year bond yield is down Uh, which is indicating us that um, investors are exiting out of equities and they are entering into uh, safe havens like uh, gold bonds and crude now if we go through with our markets then uh, their um, fis are consistently selling but domestic institutions are consistently infusing uh, equal amount of money in the market and um, even if we go through with fis position in the fno market then they have increased their uh bets on the put side when the market was on the higher side so broadly fis are taking um, a cautious view but they are uh, completely means they have they have uh, hedged their positions whatever the positions uh, is there on the long side they have uh, hedged positions in the fno market but in the cash market they are consistently selling uh, for the day and for next few days we are uh, going to focus on commodities because there the formations are relatively very very strong uh, auto stocks we need to see that how actually they perform because um, uh, on monday they were like down but today we may uh, see some activity in stocks like maruti as well as mahindra and mahindra and tata motors friends uh, that's all from my side for the day with this we are ending today's morning call thank you very much for listening in and have a great day to all of you